but for me, I didn't really know what it was. But now, Tristan Tinnis will never forget the salt and ice challenge after it did this to his arm. I just wanted to say, like, it's not smart, obviously. The Sigourney 15-year-old tried it with a group of friends Monday. The challenge left Tristan and one other with second and third degree burns on their forearms. The two may need skin grafts to repair the damage. And that's probably the best part. <laughs> And it goes all the way down to it's, here. I'm afraid this is infected. Tristan's mom is taking care of him during what's become a physically and emotionally painful ordeal. We've talked a lot about it in three days, and these challenges are there, I feel, to make children fail. And then the world tells them, degrades them, and my son's a lot smarter than what he did. Today I'll be doing the salt and ice challenge. Starting about six years ago, plenty of others have taken the salt and ice challenge posting viral video reactions online. Uh, Keep it. I can't. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> this clip alone got more than 7 million views. It's a chemistry experiment on your own skin. Doctors at the University of Iowa hospitals and clinics warn challenge participants are basically giving themselves frostbite. The salt lowers the freezing temp for water, and things can get really cold really fast. I certainly admire their curiosity, but you know there are chemistry labs to study chemistry, and don't turn your body into a chemistry lab. Tristan says he's learned his lesson. Viral online trends can stay online after the salt and ice challenge left its mark on him. I take it you're not going to do anything like this no. again. <laughs>